Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim This is the presentation for the fourth lecture in the nervous tissue. In this lecture, our objectives are to recap, means to revise the neuroglia, features and functions, and to describe the nerve endings in the epithelium and the nerve endings in the connective tissue. As regards the neuroglia, we have said before that we have four types in the CNS and two types in the peripheral nervous system. What we have in the CNS, we have these three major types, astrocytes or macroglia, oligodendrocytes, mesoglia or microglia, and the ependymal cell. In case of the peripheral nervous system, we have satellite cells and Schwann cells, and both have a letter. Here we have the astrocytes. We have uh, known that we have two types of astrocytes. Uh, one present in the gray matter here. It is called cytoplasmic astrocytes. And it is related to the pericardion of the nerve cell. And another one which is present in the white matter. And it is related to the axon or to the nerve fiber. This one is called fibrous astrocytes. Both of them are related actually at one side to the blood capillaries. They have feet like expansion on the blood capillaries and take the nourishment to deliver it either to the pericardium or to the nerve fiber. So the functions of this cell can be uh, symbolized by this picture. What is this function? It is nutrition. What is this function? It is blood-brain barrier. What is this function? It is support. What is this function? Healing of any injury in the nervous tissue by scar formation. Then we have the oligodendrocytes. Also, we have oligodendrocytes in both the gray matter surrounding what? Surrounding the pericardium. And this type is called satellite type. And one between the nerve fibers in the white matter, the, like this uh, one, this one, and it is responsible for the formation of the myelin sheath in the uh, central nervous system in the white matter. So the function of this type, in case of the cytoplasmic, its function is support. The function of the uh, interfascicular type of oligodendrocyte, it is the insulation due to the formation of the myelin sheath, which speed, speed, speeds the, uh, the impulse transmission. Then we have the mesoglia, which originate from the mesoderm, and it is also called microglia. It is present also in the gray matter and in the white matter. And they are of one type only, and they are responsible for what? For phagocytosis. These uh, dangerous materials or microorganisms or harmful material are phagocytosed by this uh, mesoglia or microglia. So it can be demonstrated by vital stains. Then we have the ependymal cells lining the ventricles in the brain or the central canal in the spinal cord. And they are lining these they are present here, lining these cavities and producing the CSF present in these uh, cavities. Then we have the cells in the uh, peripheral nervous system, which is the Schwann cells, uh, and it is responsible for formation of the myelin sheath in the peripheral nerves as well as the regeneration. Formation of the myelin sheath will cause the insulation of these nerves, as we have said, and speed up the uh, nerve impulse transmission and the regeneration of the nerves is another function for this cell. Then we have the satellite cells also starting by S in the peripheral nervous system. They are surrounding the cells in the ganglia, either spinal or sympathetic, responsible for support. Then we will move to our new subject, which is the nerve endings. Nerve endings are either receptors or effectors. The receptors are classified into extraceptors, which are present on the surface of the body, 
that's still the skin, proprioceptors, which are present in the muscles, and introceptors. Introceptors, they are present in the viscera or internal organs of the body. As regards the effectors, they are the motor nerves passing to the muscle, ordering it to contract, or to the gland, like sweat or lacrimal gland, to produce the secretion. As regards the receptors, we will start by the receptors. We will study the receptors in the epithelium, in the connective tissue, and in the muscle. In case of the epithelium, we have, as regards the nerve ending, this is the nerve endings. They are present in epithelium, connective tissue, and in the muscle. In the epithelium, we have both receptors and effectors. In the connective tissue, we have only receptors. In the muscle, we have both receptors and effectors. Starting by the receptors in the epithelium. The receptors of the epithelium, of course, they are all, all, all are extraceptors, not introceptors. And they are actually four in number. Number one, the free nerve endings. Number two, Merkel disc. Number three, peritracheal plexus of nerves. Number four, the neuroepithelium. Let us discuss one by one. First, we have the free nerve endings. In the description of each ending in this chapter, you have to comment on the following. You have to comment on the shape and on the side and on the structure as well as the function. Here we have in the free nerve endings, I cannot comment on shape because it, it is just uh, branching nerve fibers which are not covered with myelin, so they are called uh, free nerve endings. They are present in the epidermis of the skin, as you see here, as well as they are present in the epithelium in the cornea. Here they are present in the Epidermis of the skin, epithelium of the cornea, and here the first layer on the surface of the cornea. As regards the structure, we have to comment, is it capsulated or not? No, it is non-capsulated. And you have to comment about the behavior of the nerve. Here is the sensory nerve. It will lose its myelin sheath completely and pierce the basement membrane of the epidermis and branches, several branches between the cells in the epidermis. The same here, it loses the myelin sheath and enter naked through the basement membrane of the epithelium and branches, several branches in between the cells in the epithelium. As regards the function, they are responsible for three sensations. Pain, temperature, and touch. This is the first one present in the epithelium. And I'm talking now about rece receptors in the epithelium. Here we have uh, a diagram to show you when we um, prick the epidermis of the skin by this pin, these free nerve endings will be stimulated by this uh, stimulus and will send the nerve impulse through the nerve to reach the spinal ganglion and the spinal ganglion will send this impulse to the interneuron or relay neuron or intermediate neuron to the motor nerve cell in the anterior horn of gray matter and it will send the axon to the muscle to take your hand away from the source of stimulation so this is the reflex arc which takes place when you stimulate the receptor by a painful or a, a hot or cold and or touch. Now the second nerve ending in the epithelium, which is a receptor, it is the Merkel disc or Merkel ending. Here it is present in the epidermis of the thick skin, only thick skin in your palm and in your soul. Very important to remember the site, exact site. As regards the structure of this 
uh, ending, it is non-capsulated. Till now we have the free nerve endings non-capsulated, the Merkel ending is non-capsulated. And it is a disc-shaped structure. What happened here for the nerve? The nerve or the axon will lose the myelin sheath completely before piercing the base membrane of the epidermis. And then it will form this disc. This disc is present below a very famous cell in the epidermis of the skin called Merkel cell. So this is called Merkel disc. <coughs> this uh, receptor, it is a mechanoreceptor. Any compression on this skin, either in your hand or your uh, soul, will cause some change in the shape of this uh, disc, some mechanical pressure, and this will send the nerve impulse so that you can feel the touch. Number three is the peri. Peri means around. Tracheal means hair. Hair is called in Latin trichome. Tracheal means the hairs. And peri means around the hair follicle. What is the site? It is present. This plexus of naked nerve fibers present around the hair follicle. The hair follicle, it is a downward growth of... It is a downward growth of the epithelium of the epidermis towards the dermis here. So it is located around an epithelial structure. It surrounds this uh, hair follicle, and this is the uh, exact site, and it is non-capsulated, and the nerve here, of course, all of the nerves, in order to reach the nerve ending, except one, should lose the myelin sheath. Here also it is bare and surrounding the hair follicle. Uh, what is the function of this receptor? It is responsible for two sensations. The touch of the hair and the movement of the hair, as you see. Not only touch, but also movement of hair by air current, for an example. Or uh, somebody makes your uh, hair move. Okay? Now we will move to the last nerve ending in the receptors of the epithelium, which is very known and it is called neuroepithelium. Here it is present in three locations, in the taste buds in the tongue for taste sensation, in the organ of corti, in the internal ear for hearing, in two locations, macula and Christi macula, utriculi and macula saculi, and Christi ampullaris in the internal ear for equilibrium, to maintain your equilibrium while walking, while moving in a circle. So these are the neuroepithelial structures. Let us see them now. This is the test bud. These test buds on the surface of your tongue they are uh, neuroepithelium responsible for taste sensation. And this is the structure of the test bud. It is formed of uh, sensory cells, which are uh, supplied by free nerve endings to teach, uh, to reach uh, this sensation to the central nervous system. And with them, we have also supporting cells for support of these uh, precious cells. Also, we have in the internal ear, this is the organ of corti. This one is the organ of corti present in the cochlea of your ear, and it is responsible for hearing. And we have spots called the macula. Macula means a spot. This macula is present in this small sac, which is called the saccule. And in this uh, part, which is called uh, uteric. So we have macula, saculi, it's a spot. The meaning of the word the sac uh, macula, it is a spot of epithelium here, special epithelium. Macula in this small sac, so it is called macula, macula. 
لا ساكيولاي بيكوز ذيس از ذا بوزيشن ان ويتش ات از بريزنت ان ذي ساكيول ات از بريزنت ان ذي ساكيول ساكيول مينز ا سمول ساك اند ماكيولا انذر ماكيولا انذر سبوت بريزنت ان ذيس بارت ويتش لوكس لايك سمول اير كولد ماكيولا ذيس از ماكيولا يوتريكيولاي يوتريكيولاي لايك ا سمول اير This is for the equilibrium while you are in uh, linear acceleration. يعني مثلا you are in a car and you can feel that you are moving in front or backward. But these uh, neuroepithelial structures are present in this distended part in the semicircular canal. These are semicircular canal. Each sem semicircular canal has an expanded part. In which we have this receptor. The receptor is called crista, and it is present in this expanded part, which is called macula, uh, ampulla. So crista, am, pollaris. Yep, the distended part of that is called ampulla. This one and this one and this one. It has a receptor here called cresta. This cresta, we have three cresta ampullaries. So I will change their color to be different from the macula utriculi and macula saculi. So we have here the cresti, plural is cresti ampullaries. And they are responsible for equilibrium while you are in uh, angular acceleration, يعني بتلف. Okay. يبقى ده هنا these are the neuroepithelial structures طيب هنا هنبتدي بقى نتكلم على ال effectors we have finished the receptors we have four receptors free or naked nerve endings we have the Merkel disc we have peritracheal plexus of nerves and we have the neuroepithelium the last nerve ending in the epithelium is belonging to the effectors And they are related to the autonomic nervous system where the nerve here, this is the nerve, reaching this gland. This gland here, this is the gland. Formed of cells producing secretion. And they have a base membrane, this pink color is a base membrane surrounding this gland. The nerve will come also non-capsulated and non-covered with and not covered with myelin will pierce the base membrane to reach the base of the cells. They reach the base of the cells, giving them order to produce a secretion that will pass in the lumen of this uh, sac, producing the secretion that will pass through its ducts. So, also, also, it is unmyelinated nerve fibers that will penetrate the basal lamina or the base membrane of the gland and end between the bases of the cells. والاكزامبل بتاعت الجلاندز دي اللي هي اللاكريمال جلاند اند ذا سالفري جلاندز ناو وي هاف فينيش ذا ابيثيليوم كومبليتلي ليتس موف تو ذا اذر بوينت ويتش از ا نيرف اندينجز ان ذا كونكتيف تيشو ذي ار 6 ان نمبر بس ذي ار اول ريسبتورز ان ذا ابيثيليوم وي هاف 5 4 ريسبتورز اند 1 افكتور Now we will start by the nerve endings, which are all receptors in the connective tissue. Remember, they are six in number. First one is very easy. It is similar to that present in the epithelium, which is also free naked yani nerve endings. Here we have the free nerve endings of the epithelium. But we can see here that we have free nerve endings also passing in the dermis of the skin which is formed of connective tissue. So we have free nerve endings in the dermis of the connective tissue as well as free nerve endings also present in the second layer in the cornea, which is called stroma. So this epithelium, the epithelium has free nerve endings between the epithelium of the cornea. And also we have free nerve endings between the connective tissue forming the layer called stroma of the cornea. So the same sites, 
same description, same function. Pain, temperature, touch. Right. Let's move to the Meissner or Meissner's corpuscle. We have to comment here, from starting from now, you have to comment on the shape, on the side, the behavior of the axon, and the function. The shape, it is capsulated. First contact with the capsulated nerve ends. It is capsulated. As you see here, this is the capsule. Fine connective tissue capsule. Uh, and it is oval in shape. يبقى هنا فيها capsule وهي oval in shape. خلاص يبقى جي بعد كده نتكلم على السايت. It is present in the connective tissue of the skin. The connective tissue of the skin. Here this is the epidermis of the skin. And this is the connective tissue. All this area it is the connective tissue of the skin. It is This one is called the epidermis. This one is called the epidermis, and this is called dermis. Epi means above. Dermis epidermis. This is epithelium, and this is connective tissue. As you see here, you have some projections here between the epidermis and the dermis. These projections are called papilla. So it is present in the superficial part of the dermis, where in these dermal papillae. هذه البابيلي هو قاعدة فيها هذا النيرف اندنج اللي هو called Meissner أو Meissner Corpus. يبقى هنا السايت very important to mention dermal papillae to stress that it is present in a superficial position in the dermis as other receptors that will come now present in the deep part of the dermis. But what are the sites? Also palm and soul. يبقى ده هنا عندي second one which is present in the palm and the soul. Uh, but in the connective tissue. Here the behavior of the axon. What will take place in case of the axon? When it reaches this uh, receptor, you will see now, first of all, it will lose the myelin sheath. بأول حاجة, it will lose the myelin sheath. Here the myelin stops. And then it will pierce this capsule and then will pass in a spiral manner. And in between, I will have these cells. These cells are modified Schwann cells. هنا behavior ده it will pass in a spiral form. It will not branch. It will form a spiral Pathway for it, and between this uh, ending, we have these uh, blue cells uh, which are considered to be uh, modified one cells. What is the function? This receptor is a mechanoreceptor by compression on the skin in these areas, it will cause initiation of a nerve impulse to reach the central nervous system. And what is the sensation carried by it? Touch. Okay. يبقى هنا خلصنا الثاكند وان اللي هو المايشنرز كوربس ندخل على الثيرد وان كروزز اند بالب ذا از ريجاردز ذي شيب ات از كابسوليتد يبقى اذا هنا عندنا المايشنر او المايشنر كابسوليت الكروز كابسوليت المايشنر كانت اوفل الكروز اوفويد كلمه اويد مينز سيميلر بس نوت تيبيكال يعني بالعربي شبه شبه الاوفل إذا هنا it is capsulated as you see here the capsule collagen fibers connective tissue cells and it is not completely circle it is slightly elongated so it is called ovoid what is the site it is also present in the dermis deep part of the dermis what is present in the superficial part of the dermis it is a Meissner corpuscle as we said before to repeat again here The Meissner corpuscle present in the dermal papillae, which is the superficial part of the dermis. But the cruise, it is present much deeper than that. If you, this is the epidermis, and this is the dermis, the Meissner is present here, the cruise is present here. Okay? But what are the locations? They are present especially in the external genitalia, for male and female. 
What is the behavior of the axon? It will lose the myelin sheath and pierce the capsule, and then it will form branches. The other one does not form branches. It forms a spiral pathway and separated between the modified one. Here it forms branches, as you see, here in the cruise in the bulb. What is the function? It is also mechanoreceptor, responsible for the same sensation as before. This is the same thing. Mechanoreceptor for the Meissner, and here mechanoreceptor for the cruise and the bulb, for both of them responsible for touch. The fourth one is the Raffini end organ. Raffini end organ here, as it got the shape, capsulated. But what is the shape? Fusiform. First one is oval, second one is ovoid, third one is fusiform. The three are capsulated. What is the site? The three are in the dermis. But the first one in the superficial part, in the papillary, papillary layer of the dermis. The second and the third are present in the dermis. But the second is present mainly in the external genitalia, but the third is present in the soul. What is the behavior of the axon? Of course, it will lose the myelin sheath, only myelin sheath for this area, and then it stops. And the nerve will pass here through the capsule of this nerve ending and give several branches. But here we have structures between these branches. What are these structures? I have here some collagen fibers, not cells, some collagen fibers can be seen in between these branching cells. Here you can see now uh, the structure is uh, different from the previous two. We have the uh, fusiform shape, capsule as the previous, but the nerve here gives branches that are present or separated by collagen fibers. Uh, what is the function? Also the same thing, mechanoreceptor. But here for what? Not for touch. For the stretch and twisting of the skin. Stretch, لما الجلد يحصل فيه stretching, يعني يتمت, يتمت كده, أو يحصل twisting, يعني أنت ممكن أوي تجرب كده, ما تحط رجليك على الأرض, طبعا هيحصل stretching للسكين, فده هتحسه, تحرك رجليك بقى بحيث إنها تعمل twisting برضو ده هتحس twisting of the skin عن طريق هذه الرافيني end organ end organ افتكر ان هو موجود في اخر الجسم بتاعك at the last of your body which is the soul عشان don't forget ان هو only in the soul not in the hands or the palm طيب نيجي بعد كده the fifth one it is the Golgi tendon organ Golgi tendon uh, very nice tendon يبقى في التندون is present in the tendon. Golgi tendon organ, أو ساعات نسميه أو ده most common name tendon spindle. Okay. يبقى هنا from this name, I have known that it is present in the tendon, and also I have known it is a spindle in shape. Spindle هي نفس المعنى بتاع fusy form. So, what is the shape? It is capsulated, of course, capsulated. And it is fusiform or spindle in shape. What is the site? Site very easy. No need to write it. It is present in the tendon. Very close to the muscle. And very close to the attachment of the tendon to the muscle. This is the muscle. Type. What about the behavior of the axon? The axon, of course, will lose the myelin sheath, pierce the capsule, and also give several branches. In between them, we have bundles of collagen fibers, like the Raffini, but these collagen fibers are in continuity with the collagen fibers of the tendon. There, another extra point. So the behavior is the same. They are different in the site, 
The behavior is the same exactly, but you will add that these collagen fibers are in continuity with the collagen fibers of the tendon. It is also mechanoreceptor, but its function is to feel tension, shed, or compression duct of the tendon. Tension or and or and compression. Okay? يبقى هو هيحس أي شد في التندون أو أي compression على التندون هيقدر يحسه بقى. طب خلاص كده خلصنا ال... طبعا هنلاحظ this one is closely related to this one. Very similar in many points as regards the shape. The same. The site is, diff... is different. The behavior is the same. The function mechano but the sensation is different. Here is stretch and twisting of the skin. Uh, but this is the uh, tension and compression في التندون. Let's move to the last one present in the connective tissue which is very important. It is a subject of a short question. The Pacinian corpuscle. Pacinian corpuscle is one of group of uh, receptors called proprioceptors. As well as the previous one which is the Golgi tendon organ or tendon spindle. So we have this tendon spindle and pacinian corpuscle are belonging to the proprioceptors that will be discussed uh, at the end of this lecture and the following lecture. First of all, you have to memorize the points to be mentioned in this short question. I have to comment on five points. Five points, four with the letter S. Sight, shape, size, structure. And finally, of course, function. So we have five points to be remembered. Sight, shape, size, structure, and finally, the functions. We will start by the sight in this photo. The sight, it is present in the dermis of the skin, but very deep, as you see. Okay? Who can tell me what is this receptor? What is this receptor which is present in the dermal papillae? They are the Meissner or the Meissner. But this deep one, it is the Pacinian corpuscle. Also, they are present in the joint, joint capsule, this capsule of the joint, and in the bone. Here, and then in the joint capsule, and in the bone. Also, they are present in the pancreas as an internal organ, very important. They are present here. A lot of them, they can be seen in the section in uh, the second year. They are present in the section of the pancreas. And also in the urinary bladder and rectum. Okay? So these are the sites, and this is the first point. So I have to put a, a separate slide for it because a lot of sites should be demonstrated. They are present in deep layer of the dermis, in the uh, capsule of joints and bone, in the internal organs like the pancreas and uh, urinary bladder and rectum. Now let's move to the second point, the shape. It is ovoid, not oval, Similar to oval, it is ovoid. And it is, of course, has a capsule that will be discussed in details in the point of structure. As regards the size, it is one millimeter in length. Okay? One millimeter thicker in length, not diameter. What about the structure? We have three components. It has a capsule. This is a capsule, collagen fibers, with uh, connective tissue uh, cells surrounding it. And beneath the capsule we have, this is a capsule, again, okay? We have several laminae. Laminae means a flat, thin layer. Several laminae formed of cells. These cells, can you see them? They are said to be modified Schwann cells. And in between them, we have gel. يبقى هنا هنحط جل في المكان ده ما بين ال اللامني and each other. يبقى هنا اللامني عندنا a lot of lamini, a large number of lamini in this uh, uh, small 
nerve ending, uh, they may reach up to from 20 to 60 number in their, uh, uh, in their 20 to 60 in their number. Uh, can anybody tell me we have another similar number to that that have been taken in a previous lecture? Try to find what was 10 to 60 in a previous lecture. So this is the gel. I'm filling the gel in between these lamini formed of these fused uh, modified uh, Schwann cells. Uh, after that, uh, we have uh, to uh, comment on that. The lamini in the center are more compact. In the center, the lamini are more close to each other, but more separated at the periphery. I talked the capsule and the lamini. طيب نيجي بعد كده نتكلم على النيرف what will happen for the nerve هنا بقى حاجة very a peculiar يعني حصرية حاجة مختلفة هنا ايه بقى here the nerve okay this is the nerve okay passing through the capsule but here you will notice that it does not lose the myelin sheath still it keeps the myelin sheath here Myelin sheaths allow the rapid uh, uh, spread of the nerve impulse, but not more than one node. مش أكتر من one node. No. يعني هنا this is the only nerve ending which will enter with its myelin inside the receptor, but no more than one node. يعني مش two nodes لا أقصى حاجة يعني هنا no one node بجدش. هنا دخل في الصورة دي we have one node included inside the uh, structure no more than one node of Ranvi. Behena Haga Hina Mochtalifa different and all of the others. Tight. Niba the Kedalil function. Function Basita Kidden. We have function uh, for the Pacinian present in the internal organs and the skin, which is a sensation of pressure. Okay. Tight. For the Pacinian present in the joint and in the joint capsule and in the bone, it is responsible for proprioception. What is the proprioception? Proprioception, it is a sensation of sense of position, movement, and vibration. Uh, the, I will discuss them at the end of the lecture, but now I want to recall our receptors in these uh, pictures. Here we have the epidermis, which is the epithelium, and this is the dermis, which is the this is the dermis, which is the connective tissue, and this is the epithelium, which is uh, the epidermis. Ibn epithelium, howa el epidermis. Tal. Hena shayfin fil fil hazi sura how many nerve endings we have. This one, which is present in the epithelium, which is what. Three nerve endings. Type. We have also this one surrounding the hair follicle, peritracheal nerve ending, which surrounds the hair follicle responsible for sensation of uh, a touch and movement of the hair. Ibeda, in the second one present in the epithelium in this uh, picture. We have the third one here. I was looking for it, which is the Merkel disc. Beneath the Merkel cell. So we have the three nerve endings in the epithelium in this uh, picture. The fourth one in the epithelium is the neuroepithelium. It's not present in this picture. Now this is the receptors in the epithelium. The effector are present in the uh, glands, lacrimal salivary glands, to give autonomic impulses for secretion. Okay, now we will move in this picture and are, I'm searching for the receptors in the connective tissue. We have this most superficial one, which is, I'm going to here, which is Meissner, our Meissner. This is the first one in the dermal papillae, which we saw in the connective tissue. Okay, and then we have the cruise, the other one, it's not in the picture, because it's in certain situations اللي هي في الاكسترنال جينيتاليا وبعدين عندنا هنا كمان ايه هنلاقي ان اه هو ممكن يكون 
يعني عامل لها representation by this structure this can be cruise okay the second one okay and then we have the third one which is the Raffini end organ and finally we have in this picture the tendon spindle one two three four this is the tendon spindle so we have also we have number one so this is the number one which is the free nerve endings free nerve endings and then this is the second one Meissner and this is the third one Cruz and this is the fourth one Raffini and this is the fifth one which is uh, tendon spindle. Again, here we have in the epithelium 3 are demonstrated the free nerve endings, the Merkel disc, and the peritracheal nerve plexus around the hair follicles. As regards the connective tissue, we have here uh, five of them appear in this picture, which are the Meissner. We have here Meissner, we have here the uh, uh, free nerve endings in the connective tissue, this one, and the Meissner, and the Raffini. This one is not clear which is yani, the structure because I think he may want to represent the uh, Pacinia corpuscle or the cruise, not clear. The structure here is not clear. Uh, he is not drawing it in a good way to demonstrate the difference between the cruise and the Pacinian. So we have, uh, suppose we have this the cruise and this is the Pacinian. And then we have the tendon spend. Now we will talk about the proprioception. Proprioception is a sense of position. I used to demonstrate it in the lecture on my students and actually they uh, uh, feel a lot of uh, uh, fun during this uh, test. Now I will show you this test in this uh, video. Proprioception. What is the proprioception? Proprioception it is a sensation of sense of position, movement and vibration. Uh, the, I will discuss them at the end of the lecture, but now I want to recall our receptors in these uh, pictures. Here we have the epidermis, which is the epithelium, and this is the dermis, which is the this is the dermis, which is the connective tissue, and this is the epithelium, which is uh, the epidermis. Ibel epithelium, how the epidermis type. هنا شايفين في في هذه الصورة how many nerve endings we have this one which is present in the epithelium which is what three nerve endings. طيب we have also this one surrounding the hair follicle peritracheal nerve ending which surrounds the hair follicle responsible for sensation of uh, touch and movement of the hair. يبقى ده هنا the second one present in the epithelium in this uh, picture. We have the third one here. I was looking for it, which is the Merkel disc beneath the Merkel cell. So we have the three nerve endings in the epithelium in this uh, picture. The fourth one in the epithelium is the neuroepithelium. It is not present in this picture. Now this is the receptors in the epithelium. The effector are present in the uh, glands, lacrimal salivary glands to give autonomic impulses for secretion. Okay, now we will move in this picture and are, I'm searching for the receptors in the connective tissue. We have this most superficial one, which is which is Meissner, our Meissner. This is the first one in the dermal papillae اللي احنا شفناه في connective tissue. طيب, وبعد كده عندنا مين كمان عندنا الكروز ادي تاني واحد اهو مش في الصورة لانه هو موجود in certain situations اللي هي في الاكسترنال جينيتاليا وبعدين عندنا هنا كمان ايه هنلاقي ان اه هو ممكن يكون يعني عاملها representation by this structure this can be cruise okay the second one okay 
and then we have the third one which is the Raffini end organ and finally we have in this picture the tendon spindle one two three four this is the tendon spindle so we have also we have number one so this is the number one which is the free nerve endings free nerve endings and then this is the second one Meissner and this is the third one Cruz and this is the fourth one Raffini and this is the fifth one which is uh, tendon spindle again here we have in the epithelium 3 are demonstrated the free nerve endings the Merkel disc and the peritracheal nerve plexus around the hair follicles as regards the connective tissue we have here uh, five of them appear in this picture which are the Meissner we have here Meissner we have here the uh, uh, free nerve endings in the connective tissue this one and the Meissner and the Raffini this one is not clear which is in the structure because I think he may want to represent the uh, passenger corpuscle or the cruise not clear the structure here is not clear uh, he is not drawing it in a good way to demonstrate the difference between the cruise and the passenian so we have uh, suppose we have this the cruise and this is the passenian and then we have the tendon spend now we will talk about the proprioception Proprioception is a sense of position. I used to demonstrate it in the lecture on my students and actually they uh, uh, feel a lot of uh, uh, fun during this uh, test. Now I will show you this test in this uh, video. The next test is we're going to test is position sense and I'm going to show what I'm going to do. I'm going to move your finger just a little bit down a little bit up or up up down down i want you to close your eyes and don't i'm moving your finger okay now up good up good down good down good down up good now. as you see this is a test for the sense of position if you are closing your eyes you can know or feel the sense of position of your body you have to ask the patient to close the eyes in order to answer the uh, question about the position of any part of the body this means that we have a sense of position inside in the joints in the bone by the help of proprioceptors another sensation is the sense of vibration That will be tested now in this video. We're now going to uh, test the uh, dorsal column medial meniscus system, and we're going to do that by testing vibratory sensation. Can you feel that? Yes. What does it feel like? Vibrating. It's buzzing. Okay. Very good. Can you feel it here? Yes. How about now? No. How about now? Yes. Good. Can I do the same thing over here? Yes. No. Now? Yes. Can you feel it up here? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is the sense of vibration. So the proprioception is sense of position, sense of movement also. We have a test for the movement. We ask the patient to close his eyes. And uh, I, before he close his eyes, I should learn him when the, uh, his finger is moving, he tells us that it is moving. When he stops movement, he will tell us that it is uh, not moving. So the same test will be carried out on the patient uh, after he closes his eyes. And I will move his uh, thumb and ask him, uh, what is the condition of your thumb? It is moving or not? He will answer the good answer if he has a good proprioception. So by proprioception, you can feel the position of your body in your place, as well as the feel the movement of your body, 
and you can feel also the sense of vibration here again I will uh, check with you these receptors here as a final summary for this I will move all these uh, marks to final revision of this uh, type here and here first of all we have in the epidermis now you will uh, I will not make a mark on the picture you will revise with me we have first of all the uh, free nerve endings present in the epidermis which is the epithelium then we have the Merkel disc which is present in the epithelium then we have the here we have the peritracheal nerve endings around the hair fold we have three for the epithelium of the epidermis then the fourth is the neuroepithelium then we will move to the connective tissue receptors here we have a demonstration for the uh, six types of receptors present in the dermis we have number one this black one is the free nerve endings Number two, this purple one is the Meissner. Number three is the Cruz with green. Uh, sorry, Cruz, this one, Cruz. Okay. And number four is the Raffini, the blue, pale blue. And this is the Pacinian with green. Here, Pacinian. You should draw the lamina in order to be demarcated well. And here we have the Cruz, not represented in the picture because it is present in certain locations only. And finally, we have the tendon spindle. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now we have revised all the nerve angles discussed to today. And we now, by now, we have finished our lecture. Thank you very much.